I am at the happiest place in the world. New arrival that caught my eye. This is so good. One of the best advices that someone gave me about anti-aging. <gasps> <gasps> Discovering a lot of good products. Hello, my unicorns. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I am at the happiest place in the world. It is Olive Young, baby. And I'm so excited that you guys are so excited. I can tell from all the comments and stuff like that that you guys get super excited for these Olive Young series. So, I am so happy to be taking you guys to shopping today. And today, I thought it would be really fun to talk about anti-aging products or well-aging products and not just in your you know 40s 50s and 60s but in your 20s and 30s as well and for teens maybe some products that you can start using to kind of prevent aging you know what i'm saying so all right guys let's get started and i know that this has nothing to do with anti-aging but look at this beautiful display of Amuse right here. Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh my gosh, you guys. I think they may be out with some new colors. Chadu, so which is plum. This is falling blossom. Soul rose. Oh, I love that. These are beautiful. And milk tea. Oh my goodness. I have been actually looking for a very milky, like strawberry milk kind of color like this. Oh, okay. I can't take it out, so I guess it's glued in. But this one, and maybe something like that, or a little bit lighter, because I think I usually go for a little bit of the, how should I say, less darkened, smoky makeup, and then I just kind of focus on my lip a lot. So I feel like, oh my gosh, these were so amazing, you guys. I think this is one of the best, glossiest glosses that I have. These are so cute. I believe I have it in this color. It's the dew tint. And this color I think was so cute. Ah, oh, but I did not know that they have all of these kind of brownish glosses too. Ooh, and then they have maybe new palettes out that's vegan. A lot of Korean brands are coming out with all vegan makeup products too. That is definitely becoming a huge trend. The, we're making more conscious choices when we are purchasing our products. Mm, this is definitely for more of like cool tone, huh? I don't think I could pull off these kind of shades, but it's called she Shea Sheer Lavender. It's 29,000 won. So I would say compared to the little bit affordable uh, palettes, it's a little bit expensive. But usually palettes go for at least 20,000 won, right? So, ooh, I think this is something that I would be able to wear every single day. A lot of peachy colors. And they have like the matte colors and also the glittery ones too. Wow, this one's, what is this? Sheer pink. Can you see the little shan? I don't know if you can see the shan, but this one, all the colors have a bit of a shimmering glitter in there. Alrighty. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. Especially this one. I've been looking for something that's super milky like that. I think this one will be so cute. And Sugi looks so cute. She's the main model, huh? I think she suits everything so well. All right, guys. So this is actually the very first product that I wanted to check out for especially anti-aging. And it is the CKD brand right here. This was actually created by a pharmaceutical brand, um, Jonggundang. They're really well known for like the chinsengs and all the other um, pharmaceutical products as well. So it's been around for a very long time. So I think every single Korean would know what Jonggundang, what that brand is. They've heard it like ever since they were very young. Now, this one, they have come up with a skincare brand and it has become really popular. Recently, I've seen that they even have like a neck cream out. And I think they do have very similar formulas uh, with the, um, right here, the cream, retino collagen cream right here. But the shape of it, oh, I think it looked exactly like this one. It had a little like thin kind of, how should I say, spatula kind of outing like this. 
and then you can kind of apply it onto your neck. So I don't think this is the neck cream, but they had very similar formula like when I checked the website. So this is one of their best sellers. You can see it right here too. I know that you see a lot of brands using Olive Young number one, you know, like anti-aging products or whatever from different rankings. But you do have to check really like when did they have number one, you know, because it could be just for a few days or for a week. This one, it says 2021 Glow Pick Awards. Um, they had anti-aging cream section. They also had 2021 Glow Pick Awards Rookie anti-aging cream. And also they had, I, I don't know when exactly it was for Olive Young, but they did rank number one for their anti-aging products at Olive Young. So they do have this cream, as I mentioned before, and it has a very, what they're pushing is like small, low molecular weight. So this is 300 cream. And then they have also um, flexible liposome. So it says cream with great absorption, effective for skin elasticity and wrinkle uh, reduction. And one of the biggest things is that this was one of the few products that had retinol and not many Korean brands actually had that, but it just started becoming a huge trend in 2021 and it's continuing on definitely in 2022. All right, guys, so let's check out this texture. I've been wanting to try this for so long. Let me see. Do, 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 do. And I don't know how much of the retinol or retinol is in here at the moment, so I'm kind of scared. I'm only gonna use a small amount. Oh, I am actually currently using the BioWish Trend one at the moment. I'm only adding it in two times a week, but because I'm still a beginner, and I feel like sometimes it does make my skin a bit flaky and like it starts peeling. So I'm gonna start adding in only one to two times a week and start like continuously use it for months and months to see if it's gonna show results. Oh my goodness. Does it have, did you guys see like these kind of little small chunks? I don't know if it was like the old little crusty thingies in the entrance or I don't know if it already has that. Maybe it's, it was just like an old crusty little part, you know, that came along when you first squeeze it out. Mmm, it's not as heavy as I imagined, but definitely you can see from the light, it does have that kind of high oil content. You can really definitely feel it. Oh, and always when you start with a retinol product, of course, you're supposed to use just a very small amount and then work your way up. So keep that in mind. And they also have dun, 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 this one here, CKD retinol collagen small molecule. 300 first essence. Mm, let's check out the texture for this one too. Okay. <laughs> I can't smell anything through this mask, but. Oh, this one feels super watery. I could tell that there's like that 2% of viscosity to it, but it does feel super watery. Let me show you guys. Oh, it's pretty watery, huh? Right next to it, you guys, there is a new arrival that caught my eyes. And this is from Skin and Lab. <gasps> they have total different packaging, huh? I wouldn't have noticed that it was Skin and Lab if I didn't read the brand name. Oh, that's very cool. I know that they were very popular for their barrier creams and their price point is just beautiful. They always have really affordable uh, products, but they're very good quality. And then once again, I think they are out here uh, with another barrier germ intensive cream. Maybe they have upgraded the packaging, huh? It says, uh, let's see, uh, fill a seed, like their patent formulation, 1% and then flex some. Once again, their, their patent formula, it's 50 milliliters. Right now with the discount, it is 16,100 won, which will be probably like $13 or $12, I feel like on a global site. I'm not sure if they have uh, Skin and Lab at Global Mall from Olive Young, but I will definitely link it in the description below if they do. But mm, I'm curious, like the one that they had before, I think was the one with the capsules, wasn't it? 
Let's check out the texture for this one. And speaking of barrier creams, I feel like one of the things that you can do, especially in your 20s or even in your teens, when you want to make sure that you protect your skin, is that you really strengthen your skin barrier. I know that you hear it so much, and it, it was definitely like a keyword, hashtag that started kind of you know, like just roaming around a lot in 2021, but just focusing on the core importance of making sure that your skin is strong. Um, because, you know, when you're strong and when you're like, even your body too, you know, when it's in a good state, like your immune system's all good in the hood, you're eating well, you're sleeping early and you're happy, there's no stress. Then whatever comes in your way, like, uh, you know, like attack comes in, you're like, psh, you know, you push it away. Attack comes in, you're like, psh, you know, whatever. It just kind of bounces off. But, you know, like when you're, not eating well, like when you're stressed, you have a lot of homework or like, you know, you have trauma in your life and stuff like that. Just a little thing just comes in your way and then it was just like a slight hit, but it just makes a tremendous kind of hit or like results, you know, for you. So I think those things, it's always goes hand in hand with everything in life. But same thing with skin barrier. One thing that I've really noticed and that got me really mad was I realized when I look at my videos back in the days, my skin looks healthier. Like especially, I mean, of course I aged, but especially on the butterfly zone and around the T-zone and stuff, I've never really realized that it's I have all of this pesky redness that always comes back. And I think that is because I, you know, tested out so many different products all times, especially due to my job. And because my skin is so reactive and sensitive, I feel like I didn't really focus on strengthening my skin. And I'm going to shush up because I know <laughs> you guys want to see the products. I know for the Olive Young series, you guys want to really see the products. So I'm going to shush up, okay? But Ani, oh, got a little bit deep there. Oh, hold on. I don't think it has the granules. Maybe it's a total different line, but it wasn't the name very similar. Aha, it is the same one. I think it's been renewed because you could definitely see the little algae, the little, little tiny granules in here. Ah. Oh, I feel like compared to that one, this one is a little bit thicker, maybe definitely thicker i think that one it felt a little bit more lighter with the capsules but this one feels a little bit thicker but not in a bad way it feels like um how should i say like estera one the cream one you know that also has like little capsules too mm, this one's really nice i think for combination skin like myself it'll be even okay for summertime but it might feel a little bit heavy for oily skin types mm. Mm, but they're out here and they're coming strong. They have a whole section and you know, they're like pushing it. So good to know. You guys, speaking of skin barriers, let me introduce you to one more product and then we'll move on to another anti-aging product. This one is so amazing. You guys know how much I've been like obsessed with Real Barrier. Seriously, if you have skin concerns at the moment that your skin barrier is damaged or if you feel like you just need something to calm your angry skin down, this is such a good cream. I've tried the Real Barrier Extreme Cream, which is amazing. And also, um, they're, recently I've tried their Essence. Was it this one? Oh, Essence Toner. This is so good. I'm actually testing this out for a video that we're going to be doing for Style Korean. Unisus TMA. Unisus TMA. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to Beauty Cookies. Unisus TMA. <laughs> but any calories. So this one. So we were testing out the best toners. And this was the very first time that I tried this. This is so good. It has like a very viscous, milky kind of texture and it is so amazing for calming your skin. I feel like these days, a lot of toners, they do come with a little bit of exfoliating ingredients. And sometimes when my skin is irritated, I, I don't even want any kind of exfoliating ingredients in there. I just want it to mainly focus on calming. So I feel like for those times, this is perfect. It says um, skin barrier. Function formula for dry and sensitive skin. Uh, strengthens weakened skin barrier with MLE Real Barrier Formula. This one, the MLE uh, formula that they have is only, like globally, it's a formulation that only Real Barrier has. And they have a lot of different lines like Atom. And I think a lot of, I think another brand, Zeroids, I think was theirs too. So all of these um, products that I mentioned, especially Xeroid is actually uh, sold in the dermatologist like and in different hospitals especially 
for like atopy skin and for skin with um, those kind of concerns, like really severe dry type of concerns. So that's really interesting to know. So if you are looking for a good brand, uh, you can check out their whole line. Also, if you are looking for a good product, I would want to highly recommend the um, Extreme Cream and this one. Their Essence Toner was really good. And you guys, this one is something that I have not tried, but I know that a lot of you guys probably have tried already. And this one is always, always on the top 10 like bestseller for um, in the skincare section on Olive Young, not global, but on the Korean site. And it is dun, da, 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 the 10% niacinamide and 1% of the zinc. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So this is the 60 milliliter one. And actually, I have not tried this yet. I love niacinamide um, V3. It's one of my favorite ingredients for brightening effect. But this one is such good price. Look at this. Uh, how much is this? 12,600 won. That's a really good bargain, you guys. That's probably like 9 or 10 bucks, you know? So this one is very popular, you guys, in uh, Korea. So that, that surprised me, actually, because yesterday I went in. I wanted to check out what's one of the best anti-aging products. And from the skincare section as well, this was in the top 10. I'm going to go right next to... Um, the ordinary and it was good all last time we checked out the new packaging and you guys oh my gosh i did not know this but their formulations changed as well they said the brightening effect for the um green tea vita c dark spot serum plus the cream itself has doubled so for example they said exactly 1.4 percent like higher you know 1.4 times higher so like half half higher but the formulations did change they said that the brightening effect has been improved and i did not know that the formulations changed i thought it was just the packaging so i just wanted to let you guys know on that too this one the cream as well it just the texture looked beautiful when i did check it out they had these little tiny like darkened yellow kind of do you see that do you see that a little bit in the picture it just looked beautiful and this um this product as well has been upgraded that the brightening effect has improved so for those of you that are interested and for those of you that have seen the new packaging i wanted to just mention that part that it has been upgraded it's not just the packaging and speaking of one of the best advices that someone gave me about anti-aging to kind of understand it in a really easy way was my onni sophia onni and she let me know think of antioxidants like fruits you know how we eat oranges we eat grapes we eat pomegranates we eat so many different things but we all get some type of vitamins and like good minerals and everything in there right so just think about those the antioxidant ingredients as fruits you know you get some of this from this fruit you get some of that from this fruit and same thing when you look at a product these days it's not like they have one kind of function you know it's not like they have 100 percent of one kind of ingredient even so there's so many like different effects from just that one ingredient so um when you are looking at all of these ingredients and then or like you're watching videos and they say oh it's a great antioxidant sometimes i'm like huh like what do you mean exactly or like how different are they or like how am i supposed to think about them and you know it was just like kind of hard for me to understand but if you think of it as oh you're what you're getting like this vitamin from this fruit or you're getting this kind of goodness from this product and this ingredient it just kind of made things a little bit easier for me so speaking of when you are in your teens you don't have to worry about anti-aging but one thing is sometimes even when you're a teen you do see fine lines on your like you know around your eyes you do see some wrinkles like in the laugh lines there are certain certain things that bothers the heck out of you so i feel you guys on that one and for that i just want to say that maybe adding in a product um, that will just kind of plump up your skin so you can mainly focus on hydration and moisturizing your skin and of course sunscreen as well so going back to gura what i wanted to say 
was that even this will be a great product to kind of prevent everything. You're hydrating your skin and there's antioxidants in here. The green tangerine is amazing. So you will see brightening um, effect for fading out your sunspots or maybe your acne scars or whatever. But this one has such a gentle formula. So I want to highly recommend it for teen unicorns or for unicorns in your 20s as well or in your 30s i'm in my 30s and i love this and this is um, one of derek's favorite products he uses it every day for day and night routine he has a lot of sunspots these days like right here the deep ones i can tell that it doesn't help too much or it, it, it still needs some time but overall his uneven skin tone and things like that and he always picks on his acne like that's one of the things that derek does he cannot leave it alone. Like, it's just, I don't know, he just, he just has to pick on it. He just gets so much joy from it. But <laughs> I'm trying to stop him. You know, I'm trying to convince him, but it's one of his passions. But for those kind of spots, it's been working really wonders for him. It's been um, helping to fade away much faster. Speaking of sunscreen, I think honestly the best well-aging product or anti-aging product is definitely sunscreen, man. I mean, the or the UVA rays, the UVB rays, oh my gosh. I think the sun is definitely our number one enemy. Don't worry, don't, don't like take that literally in, you know, I love the sun. You, we need some sun, we need some vitamin D in our lives. And you know, sun makes us happier. You know what I'm saying? When the weather, like for the past two days, it was rainy and then, oh my gosh, I did not realize how much the weather affects me. What about you? Is it just me? I'm, I was just like in a crazy ass like, kind of down mode and I'm like, I don't want to do anything. I don't know why I'm here. Like, I don't know why I exist. All of these negative thoughts started going in my mind. But anyways, going back, what I'm trying to say is the sun is not your literal enemy, but for your skin, sometimes it is, you know what I'm saying? So what I'm trying to say is that you need a good sunscreen that you can apply every single day and that it makes you want to reapply too, you know? And realistically speaking, I know that it's like hard to apply your sunscreen every two or three hours but i think when you really do get in the habit of it it really makes a huge difference and it will make a difference after you know one year three year five year ten years it will make a difference so speaking of reapplying i want to introduce you to some of the sun cushions a lot of my unicorns actually asked me to kind of review sun cushions because they're one of like the easiest ways to reapply sunscreen right off the bat i can just kind of see it right here Bam, I can see it from, this is Cyanic. It's a really good brand with a lot of good affordable products, uh, but they're very well known that it's very effective. Their first essences became very popular and then, and then so on. Their other products became really popular. Uh, you also have this from Shingmur Nara. Shingmur Nara, and they're like the most affordable line. I know that the packaging and everything is not like all that, but oh, hold on you guys. I think it's because of my uh, lotions. Oh, much better, right? <laughs> okay, so their packaging is not like wow or anything, but the price point is really nice. And then another one that I see here is AHC. And they have amazing sun care products. And they also have really good anti-aging products. So let's get into that right after. But oh, they have uh, this cushion actually bought this cushion for one of my subscribers if you guys want also for Ani hello to do another uh like giveaway where i go offline shopping like here for you guys please leave it in the comments below i would love to do that for you guys when they're having a huge sale maybe it'll be fun to kind of roam around and do that oh this one as well this is i haven't seen this on the body jorudi shika jaseok cushion it says on the body so maybe this is oh like I, I think on the body i wonder what on the body is is that the brand's name yeah i think that's the brand's name mm. anyways another thing that i wanted to mention is sun sticks they make our lives so much easier i swear this one is derek's favorite it's my favorite the abib quick sun stick it's so big you guys and there's no white cast and they have this little curve so it just goes like right in the nooks and crannies like you know like in the curvy areas like around the nose area and everything that is kind of hard to get 
especially when you have really dirty hands and stuff like that this is a lifesaver it's just so easy and it makes me want to reapply actually this is like one of the things that i love and i did not know that brain green also has a cooling calming tea tree sunstick hey, interesting and brain green is actually a brand um, made by CJ, so uh, Olive Young. Um, CJ owns Olive Young as well, so they're always the same line. So they do actually push a lot of the uh, Bring Green products, but this is a good one. It's a good price point, twenty thousand won as well. Let's open this baby up and see how it is. You guys, why is it that every time I come to Olive Young, I have to go poop? -poo? <laughs> is it because I get all like hyper in here and I use a lot of my oh so it like <laughs> it starts stimulating my tummy or something like that <sighs> every time every time i finish filming i bone out to the next building and then i go to their noted cafe there's a there's a, like the bathroom that's open <sighs> i'm a morning pooper <laughs> just to let y'all know <laughs> what about you guys let me know if you're a morning pooper <laughs> or or you know any other time of the day let's go back to this i think this is quite new they had actually um three different products or two different products oh this is the bring green tea tree sika cooling sunstick uh spf 50 plus pa plus 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 it looks like it'll have a little bit of a white cast but maybe like kind of semi matte finish but let's see oh i think it doesn't have a white cast oh Oh, it's really nice actually. Something um little bit kind of this color, baby blue color. They transfer a bit, but you can't really see a huge difference, huh? And it is more on the moisturizing side. Usually um sun sticks that look like that, it's really tacky and then it doesn't glide on that smoothly. But this one's pretty nice. Oh, let's see how much of it you have. Oh, oh oh yes so one of the good things about bring green too is they have really good price point so i feel like this is something that i would definitely try and this was 22 no no how much was this Twenty thousand won without a discount oh i wonder if this is on the global site i will link everything in the description if it is <gasps> oh and oh oh aninde <laughs> no yesterday like i checked their post and you know they have such round lap their sunscreen is Bombay. That was one of my best of beauties for 2021. You know, we love this one. They're out with the, I think, physical sunscreen. But I can't, they're, I don't think it's offline. It's not here yet. But look, they have a tone up too. This one I didn't see. The post I saw was a little bit green on the bottom. But this one too. Oh, this is new. It's Subun Jinjang hashtag. So like moisturizing, calming, Yungwang Cha Cha what does that mean maybe like a little bit of a glow mm -hmm. it's spf 50 plus p plus 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 50 milliliters same packaging with a little bit pink just on the bottom and then they have like obviously like a pink base oh i'm excited this is my by far this one was my favorite favorite it was so good i think i've i've used so many tubs let's see hoping that this one will be like <gasps> wow oh <gasps> yo 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 it's oh it's super moisturizing and they do have a white cast it does have a tone up it's white cast you can say it's tone up in a good way but it does have a white cast but look, wow, it's actually very, I, I wouldn't say it does feel really oily, but the finish itself towards the end, I think when everything's soaked in, is pretty nice. And it doesn't feel tight nor like dry. <gasps> look, there's not that much of a difference, huh? Oh, this is so nice. And then I'm trying to see if it creases a little bit like on the wrinkle parts and stuff like that, because some, some tone-up creams, they do that. But I don't think it does that either. Oh, interesting. I know that they're out with another physical sunscreen where it's like baby green on here. So if they do have that, I'll make sure to try it and let you guys know. Because I know that so many people love this too. 
So this is really interesting. Cool. Oh, and I didn't know that they had a sun cushion. Cool. This is the round lab um, 자작나무 수분 sun cushion. Oh, they don't have a puff. It says that it has Vita Hyaluronic Acid in here. And it's very moisturizing, they say. Oh, and then they also have this too, you guys. I wanted to show you this. They have sunstick too. Cool, cool. Let's let's check this one out. <gasps> wow, this one's really moisturizing too. It's not tacky at all. It's almost like kind of, you can feel a bit of that oiliness or the water. It's very moisturizing. I'm really surprised that they have so many good sun sticks. So Roundup is also owned by CJ. So, so they do have really good price point at times and they'll have a lot of promotions at all live young. But oh this is oh, this is really good guys. I'm I'm actually discovering a lot of good products, sun sun care products, yes. And you guys, it wouldn't be a birthday party <laughs> without me checking out some of the sheet masks and introducing you to some of my favorite ones. Now, let me show you guys some great masks, especially for mature skin or if you do uh, want a lot of the anti-aging effects as well. So the first one that I wanted to show you is actually this one right here. This is something that I've tried uh, a few years back. So it's been around for a while, but it does use microcurrents. Isn't that really cool? So usually you get like, you get the machine for microcurrents. They have a lot of devices these days, like at home devices, but usually you always have to go to like the dermatologist to get treatments and things like that. It has technology in here that, um, so this is a premium home care uh, microcurrent mask. It has technology that it will be able to deliver the goodness deeper into your skin compared to any other, you know, sheet masks out there. So this one actually was so expensive when it first came out but it's so much more cheaper now. It is at 6,000 won for a one. So that is a little bit pricey. So this is definitely something to um, keep your eye out on. It's called Future France 집중 Care Mask. Right here, Future France AC Care. Does that mean that it's for, oh, interesting. This is specifically for um, oily skin types and for, oh, for poor care. And it says it has fast um, calming effect and a yubunki care. So it's helping to balance out your oil and moisture level. Oh, interesting. Oh, this is very interesting, actually. I did not know that there's um, one that focuses on actually oily skin type. And another one that I wanted to introduce you to is this one. This one's very popular as well. Um, I know that a lot of mature skin, you start kind of lacking the moisture in your skin you know and your skin is more easier that it will the moisture will evaporate so this one actually is a cream mask and their dr g's royal black snail uh the whole line actually focuses on a lot of good ingredients uh, that helps with skin elasticity so this one is also very popular you guys this is one of the um, best uh high ranking products especially for anti-aging on the korean olive young site as well and another one that i wanted to show you is this one one. This is so good. So this is the number Zen um, number three mask and it's called the Tingle Pore Softening and I've actually introduced you to this before. One of the things as you get older is that you will see more buildup that skin cells uh, they'll become more peskier at times and you will see more frequency of it. This is a great sheet mask that helps to remove um, skin texture. So it will help to make your skin texture more smooth and at the same time it will unclog your pores and this gives you that bomb ass glow. It does feel a little bit I would say sticky afterwards, but it's definitely a good product to add in for like extra home care, like pampering routine one to two times a week. It's definitely worth it. And it's really popular these days amongst Koreans. All right, you guys, I have five minutes, so I'm gonna hurry it up. <laughs> but one thing that I want to show you, where is it? Ah, this one too. Abib Cream Coating Mask. This one, to be honest, I don't personally like this too much. But my friend, um, April, she loved it. This is actually very good for those of you that loves cream masks. For me, I don't know why. It just kind of felt too rich and tacky. But if you have dry skin type, I feel like this is a great one. And it does say it's tone-up solution, but it's not a wash-off kind of cream. You can leave it on. You can go to sleep. 
but yes it does have like a weird tacky kind of finish for me but it's amazing for dry skin types and last but not least from the sheet mask section i wanted to introduce you to this one miguara has a lot of good um products i love their serum and um i think they have it right here it's really tiny i don't know if you can see but it's this serum right here the whitening perfect ample origin this one the only con is that i would say I, if you wear a mask after you put it on like a white colored mask this yellow color kind of transfers onto it but putting that besides it's a great vitamin product i love the ample the brightening effect is amazing and it does have a really good gentle formulation i love this uh this one because it has a sheet mask but it's three steps so first of all after like cleansing or after exfoliating you go with number one the ample and then you go with the sheet mask and then you go with the whitening cream origin now overall if you're like pampering yourself with this one you will see a good 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 difference like even just with the whole routine you're gonna see a good difference like yesterday i just filmed a video where if your skin is feeling blah and that you want to make it like in a better condition like what steps that i take the exfoliating steps like the purifying steps the nourishing steps and the whole shipping so please stay tuned in for that if that video goes up before this one i'll link it in the description below but there are those days you know when you need a little bit of help from extra products or you really want to add in extra steps to make your skin in a better condition you know you want the good skin days back and the music is back it's here it's telling me to go home all right guys i did not have enough time the music came on so i'm gonna actually do a quick voiceover for you guys for some of the products this is isoy blemish serum you guys know it's one of the best selling serums at olive young for nine years straight but their intensive lifting line is also really popular the line has a serum a cream and a spot product for skin elasticity this intensive energizing cream x this cream has a very rich texture and is amazing Amazing for skin elasticity um, it has ingredients like peptides it also has bulgarian rose oil which is really popular from isoe and so on this one's a really good one for dry skin types the texture is pretty thick now we're gonna move on to this one right here it was actually recommended highly by my friend purju who was a guest uh, last time um, if you haven't seen that video yet please click on the right top i will add that in she raved about this one she said it was so amazing it was highly recommended for anti-aging and for skin elasticity and the best part that it had a very gentle formula as you guys know i'm obsessed with baku chill too and this is definitely on my wish list now a AHC eye creams for the face is so popular in Korea. They literally sell it like every other week on Korean home shopping TV shows. Um, AHC really like it's proud and boasts about the staggering sales record of 21.11 million purchases since its launch. And I've actually tried the most recent one, which is this turquoise goldish uh, youth lasting real eye cream for the face. It's not as heavy as you would imagine. Um, the texture is really dreamy. It's like kind of velvety and you'll really love it everything soaks in very fast this ahc mella root line is definitely something i wanted to share there's not a lot of products out there that's actually really good for dark spots this is amazing for that um the packaging is shaped like you're getting a shot so it does have that kind of ooh like premium special kind of care kind of feel the texture is pretty watery lighter than what you would imagine and it smells pretty good too and i've heard so many good things about this product and i cannot wait to get this back into my routine so we're gonna check out the texture of the cream as well i haven't tried the cream yet um but it's really a hard you know i told you guys to find a good product to help to improve blemishes from the root so i'm so excited to try out this cream too <laughs> <laughs> he's so sweet i come like every week so i think he remembers my face he's so sweet and he's like always like oh you're like when you speak english it's so cool so thank you 
This cream also improves the root of the dark spots, blemishes, and acne scars. It also has liposome technology, which helps the absorption rate. Like it helps the ingredients to soak into your skin much better. It wasn't as rich as I imagined. It felt really nice and moisturizing. And I have combination skin and I can definitely see myself using this during um, spring and even through summertime and even continuing on to the fall maybe. All right, guys. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. And I'm I'm so sad that we didn't have enough time today but hope you guys enjoy also if you have any anti-aging products or well-aging products that you absolutely love and you want to share with your unicorns please let me know and also i wanted to share some information from olive young global at olive young global they're having an olive young day promo right now till march 31st so don't forget to head on over to the global site where you can get some goodies from your wish list or maybe some things you wanted to stock up on with a lot of discounts and a lot of benefits i'll leave all the details in the description below all right thank you guys so much for tuning in i love you and i'll see you in the next one bye my unicorns